Hey guys, welcome to episode number 288. Today is Wednesday, so it's DIY Wednesday, and today I wanted to share with you how I maintain my culture of Daphnia Magna. You can see here, I've got quite the culture going in this five gallon bucket, um, but eventually this culture will crash because there's quite a bit of debris building up on the bottom of the bucket. So once or twice a week I do like to swap out the water in this bucket but I don't want to lose any of my Daphnia. So let's walk through exactly how I go about doing that. So we have our culture in this bucket. We've got a bucket of fresh water which came from my drip system over here. And then we have a third bucket here. And uh, what I've done is I've just taken a couple pieces of PVC and that's going to act sort of as a stand in the bottom of that bucket. And then I've taken a piece of Matala filter material. You can use a piece of egg crate if you'd like. Uh, whatever you have hanging around which is rigid enough to kind of support itself um, to go on top of that piece of PVC so that I've created kind of a shallow pool here um, with a false bottom into the bottom of that bucket. Alright, next up we have any type of cloth material. Um, this happens to be an old uh, pillowcase and uh, what I want to do here is just position that in such a way that it's going to act like a filter when I pour my culture of Daphnia on top of it. The idea being that we pour slow enough so that all of the junk on the bottom of that bucket stays in this bucket and all of the Daphnia swimming in the water end up uh, in this filter cloth and all of the dirty water will end up below that filter in the bucket and uh, that's how we're going to separate the uh, Daphnia. So let's get going. Alright guys, and here's five gallons of filtered Daphnia. As you can see, because we transferred five gallons into a five gallon bucket, there's about an inch of water sitting on top of here, and uh, the rest of the water down below is our waste water. What we're going to do is go ahead and take a turkey baster and uh, suck up some of these little suckers and feed them to our fish and then we'll take the rest of the Daphnia and transfer them back into the culture. Now typically it's best if you gut load these Daphnia so that they provide the most nutritional value to your fish otherwise you're just kind of feeding them some protein and some fat but not a whole lot else. So we're just slowly releasing those Daphnia into the aquarium because it's a freshwater animal um, and it's going into a freshwater tank these Daphnia will swim around in this tank until they all get eaten um, so this could provide food for my fish for uh, a day or two if the fish are kinda slow to uh, to grab at them and uh, I could even throw some in a marina hang on breeder box like this and let them find their own way off back into the aquarium and uh, that might provide food for you know the better part of a week or so depending on how fast those Daphnia are at escaping but there we go we've got a tank 
full of Daphnia now. These fish, as you can see, are going nuts. Um, it might be hard to uh, to pick them out. But I'll see if I can stay still long enough so that you can see them hunting. Let's see if we can get a good shot. There's going to be quite a bit of glare in this aquarium. As you can see, they kind of munch on them a little bit if they can't fit them in their mouth. And uh, because of the water movement in this tank, these Daphne are just floating all over the place. The larger females don't have a problem grabbing them. But some of the smaller males and the juveniles are having a little bit of trouble chasing them down. But as you can see, they're going crazy for them. And uh, that's what we want to see. So that was a su success. And now the last thing we have to do to finish this off is just get these Daphnia into this bucket. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the turkey baster and try to get the majority of them into the new culture. But I won't be able to get all of them. And uh, once I've kind of scooped a lot of these out, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, turn that cloth over and chuck it right into oops right into here and just turn it upside down and then all of those Daphnia are now inside the new culture bucket and then we've got five gallons of wastewater that we can dispose of and we have a new Daphnia culture ready for uh, another two or three days of uh, grow out. I do have some food here that I will feed them at this point. Uh, it's basically a mixture of uh, dried yeast and spirulina powder. In the uh, summer months I hope to be using uh, a live algae culture instead um, to kind of keep the water a little bit less cloudy but for right now all I do is uh, stir some of that in and uh, every once in a while I'll stir it up again so it stays in suspension and uh, the Daphne will feed off that for a, a day or two and then we'll repeat the process anyways guys hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys later